tonight an exciting new treatment for an unusual skin disorder. But first, researchers find an unlikely treatment for another skin condition, psoriasis. Dr. Max Gomez here now with more. Well, Jim Sue, there may soon be some long-term relief for people with the unsightly and often painful skin condition, psoriasis. New research shows two drugs normally used to treat arthritis can clear up the thick red scaly patches associated with psoriasis. Papers presented at the American College of Dermatology report more than half the patients who took the drug Remicade experienced an improvement in their psoriasis for six months. Those who took the drug Enbrel showed similar improvement. Both drugs block a chemical messenger called tumor necrosis factor, which is involved in inflammation and autoimmune disease diseases like rheumatoid arthritis and psoriasis. Well, the disease vitiligo may be new to you, but you've almost certainly seen it. One to two percent of the population has it. People with vitiligo lose the pigment or color in their skin. Not all over, but in patches that can be very unsightly. Treatment is pretty ineffective until now. If you followed Michael Jackson's career at all, you've noticed that his skin tone has gotten lighter and lighter over the years. He's got vitiligo, which in dark-skinned people can be especially disfiguring because the loss of pigment is so obvious. Rather than have this, Michael chose to use a bleaching cream to even out his skin tone. The process occurs with the patient's own cells attacking and killing the pigment cells in the skin, leaving unsightly uh, white spots on the skin. I thought it was um, not the attra most attractive look on my hands, and I also understood that with the whiteness it was more susceptible to sun damage because the pigmentation was gone. Krista Sheehan had been told there was nothing she could do about her vitiligo. Then Krista heard about a new laser treatment that could repigment the white patches with virtually no side effects. During the treatment there is no sensation whatsoever. After the treatment though it is slightly burnt so it is sensitive to heat and uh, slight peeling. Skin color comes from cells called melanocytes that make pigment called melanin, which is also responsible for a suntan. In vitiligo, some melanocytes survive deep at the base of hair follicles. They're what the laser targets. And those cells will migrate to the surface of the skin and spread out, uh, filling in the white spots. So it looks like it's starting to get a little bit better. Like most patients, Kiki Anastasio's vitiligo is most noticeable in areas exposed to the sun, such as the face and hands. And I did the laser for like three, four months in a row, like twice a week. Mm -hmm. So which they got a lot better. And some of them, they disappeared. Now, repigmenting the skin doesn't happen overnight. It usually takes two to three laser treatments to see a difference and six to eight treatments to actually repigment the area. At least half the laser patients get some or all of their skin pigmentation back. Now, you can learn more about medical stories on our website. It's located at WNBC.com. Again, that is WNBC.com. And as for cost, it depends on how many treatments are needed, of course. They run about $200 per session, although the cost drops with multiple treatments but it's really probably the first really effective treatment that we've had. And for those for people that have bleached their skin, I guess there's no uh, it's over. going back. Yeah, unfortunately, All it's right. over. That laser, though, isn't painful, really? No, you know, they, they describe it as act, feeling nothing at all later, uh, like a little bit of a sunburn. Thanks, That's Max. You all right, Max, thank you. When we come back...